Hey, so yesterday I talked to you guys about creativity and how important I think it is for you to um, progress as an individual. Um, don't ever let anybody tell you that because of a certain way you're built, where you live, where you come from, where you, the, the, the way you grew up, any of that stuff is a limitation on what you can do with your mind, okay? The, the, biggest, the biggest asset you could ever have is, is your creativity. And that can be a lot of things, but uh, some of the most successful people, some of the guys that really truly put a dent in the atmosphere by what they invented or what they've done or the way they thought, always thought in a different way, right? It wasn't, it wasn't the norm. So your creativity is gonna put you much further in life than any amount of money could give you, any amount of athletic ability, any of that stuff. All right, so you guys, you guys have an unbelievable opportunity just based off the things you can get your hands on, right? Smartphone, I can get anything I want. Any answer to any question I want, I just Google it, right? You have so much exposure to so much content in your lives right now, you're literally limitless into what you can expose yourself to, all right? And that's your environment. We talk to our guys a lot about environment, what the, what the things they put themselves in, right? things you eat, the things you listen to, the people you hang around with, all of that stuff adds up to your environment, your mentors, your coaches. Um, all of that stuff molds you to who you are, all right? But the biggest thing about all that is the people that you're around, the things that you listen to, the stuff that you expose yourself to makes you feel a certain way, right? It makes you feel a certain way. You get around some people and you're like, I'm fired up, I'm ready to do something big today. You get around those people and they fire you up, Get around those people more, right? I love Coach Breeze, man. Coach Breeze didn't have to come over here today. He's got tons of stuff that he could be doing. He found out I was in town, he comes over. That fires me up, man. Guy wants to learn, guy wants to get around the wrestling room. That fires me up, man. That makes me want to work harder. I need more, I need more Coach Breeze's in my life, all right? I need more guys like that in my life because he makes me feel a certain way, right? Makes me feel a certain way. And at the end of the day, that's why we're put on this earth, guys. Make people feel a certain way, man. Live a certain way, act a certain way, conduct yourself in a fashion that other people want to be a part of, that other people want to feel, all right? And that's how we continue to pass this stuff on. You got a coach like Coach Offer that, that, that's put countless of hours into you guys, into some of you guys, all right? Pay that on, okay? Take some of the stuff and the time he's put into you and pay that, pay that on to something else. Show up for a youth practice randomly one day and just help out. I guarantee it'll make you feel great and you'll make those kids feel unbelievable, all right? So focus on creativity. Focus on the way you think about stuff and focus on moving forward and how you're gonna make the people feel around you, man. Because once you get your head wrapped around that, you, might, you guys might go a whole day and not care one ounce on how you made anybody you came in contact feel. That's crazy, right? Or if you woke up and said, hey, everybody I come in contact with today, I'm gonna try to make them laugh, right? Imagine, imagine how much different your day would be. Imagine how much different your attitude would be. None of this I'm talking about has anything to do with wrestling. It has to do with who you try to mold yourself to be every day, all right? And that's the way you think, and that's the environment you put yourself in, all right? And if you figure those two things out at a young age like you guys are, you guys are gonna be unbelievable individuals when you get older, all right? So keep doing that stuff. The wrestling part's great. It's a good vehicle to get to where you wanna go, all right? But you gotta use this thing. You gotta use it, all right? And then you gotta pull those awesome people that you see and hear about and you've got a chance to be around, around you as much as possible. And just feed off of it. And then when you start figuring some of that stuff out, you go give it to somebody else, all right? That's what we gotta do in this world, all right? We gotta take the cool stuff and we gotta spread it out to everybody, okay? So work on that while you're doing this wrestling thing. Work on that while you're chasing yellow medals, right? When wrestling's gone, I promise you, you'll be happy you did that stuff. You'll be a completely different person. Cool? Any questions? We good? All right, great camp. You got anything, coach? Hey, you guys just grab up your partner and then roll up one section of the match. Roll, you don't gotta strap or anything. Just find a section, roll it up. Everyone, just everyone. Get their partner and then you as a partner, roll it up. Let's get it! Let's get it!